So with the arrival of Thiago Alcantara looking imminent, we thought we'd speak to an expert on Spanish football to find out all about who our future red is. No, the expert isn't Jack. We're talking to Will Tidy, world football expert at the Bleacher Report. Will, what's he worth? A lot more than the £17 million release clause that we're hearing about. He's 22 years old. He's gone through the La Masia Academy at Barcelona. We know what happens when players go through there. He is very versatile. He's kind of a rare talent in the array of skills that he has. He's got good vision, great first touch. He can pass, he can finish. You know, United would be very lucky to get him and it looks like it might happen. Uh, who would you compare him to that uh, are playing now? I think, um, I mean, obviously the, the, the comparison that United fans will go to uh, is Paul Scholes, who obviously is not playing now. Um, if we try and look now, it's... Xavi is the one that will come up because obviously they're, they're playing there and I think he's seen as an actual successor to him. It's a hard one because he's very mobile. He plays as a defensive midfielder and where he's stationed often, but he's capable of moving into that attacking midfielder role. He can almost do a number 10 type role. So I don't know if there's anybody like for like in the game right now in Europe that compares to him. I've seen him hit a few screamers in my time, young Thiago. What, what would you say are his main strengths and weaknesses? Yeah, I think his main strength is going to be his array of distribution. His, um, his completed pass number is, is very high. If you look at the stats across Europe's top leagues, he's I think just outside the top 10, which is impressive. He has very, very good peripheral vision. We've seen that with Skulls. It's that ability to, to take the ball, seemingly somehow create space for yourself everywhere you are on the field and to pick a pass. Now, he can score goals. We saw that at the European Under-21 Championships, but... He's not scored a lot of goals so far in his club career with Barcelona. I think that's an area he'll probably look to develop on. I think the key area for United is to be able to break the line, is to be able to be a player that sits in midfield but can break and give them, put them on the front foot essentially, which I think United have lacked a little bit with the types of players they've had in deep midfield previous season. You mentioned earlier that maybe he could take the number 10 role. There's a few reports suggesting that maybe he'll be here come in with maybe Rooney going out. Do you think that would be good business? Yeah, I'm not sure about that, that 10 role. I think the player who's been looking to take that is obviously Kagawa, who came in and, and really we wanted to see him play in that 10 role. But because of Rooney being there, you know, Fergus intended to use him either side of that in that three behind a striker. So Kagawa didn't really get the chance to do what he did at Dortmund for United. So I hope that he could do that for United this season, potentially. What that means for Rooney, I don't know. Are we going to see Rooney in that deeper role we've seen him in, that kind of playmaker-type role? Maybe, you know, we see Steven Gerrard do this kind of regista role that they call it now uh, with Liverpool. I'm not sure if that's for Rooney. I'm still not convinced Rooney will leave United because he has to weigh up whether he's going to have better opportunities to win things at this stage in his career. You know, where's he going to go now? I, I, I think he'll probably stay. I hope so. I certainly hope so. Um, when it comes to adjusting to the Premier League, We've seen a lot of foreign players come in um, so much lately. They've been doing a lot better, but they can't quite match the, the pace and, and the physicality. Cleverson, I think, is what you're saying. Yeah, basically that. Eric Jemba Jemba, another classic. Um, what, what do you think? Can he, can he adjust? Yeah, I think he can, because I think the Premier League's changed a little bit over the last few years. It's, it, it's got more dynamic. It's got more about... I think if we look at the Spanish players particularly that have come in, uh, Michu at Swansea has said that he found the Premier League, though the pace is quick... He, found he, he finds he gets a lot more space on the ball. He's got a lot more time to do what he wants to do that isn't available in that final third in Spain where it's very congested. It's very spacious when you're get to the, when you in that first couple of thirds, but the final third very congested. I think you look at Hazard, uh, at Chelsea, you look at Matty, you look at David Silva. These are the types of players that are in this mould that uh, Thiago could be in for United. I think technically, if you can do things quick enough, uh, and you're fit enough, then I don't think the actual brute strength that we used to look to is, is that necessary anymore. So where would Thiago actually fit in, do you think? I think the most obvious spot for Thiago would be to be to start alongside somebody like Carrick in that defensive midfield area. It puts a little bit more pressure on Carrick because I think he'd have a little bit more responsibility. You'd have to allow Thiago to roam a little bit. Although he's a disciplined type of player and I think he can do that job and still he's, he's, he's dynamic and fit enough that he can still add a little bit more forward movement alongside a player like Carrick who tends to more just sort of shuttle across back and forth and give passes from that area. Will it happen? Should it happen? I think it should happen because I think it's, if David Moyes is looking for a player to give United a little bit of forward propulsion from that area, then he is an ideal purchase right now. And United have got a little in there because, of course, Thiago looks at this Barcelona squad and he's saying, well, am I going to start where I've got Xavi, Iniesta, Barcelona obviously signed Neymar, who's effectively competing for one of those attacking midfielder spots. 
you know, they, they have so much talent and, and that's the temptation for Thiago to say, well, I can play regularly at United. David Moyes gets someone to come in that kind of represents his new start at United. He's got a young player that he can mould, who can fit into his system and can be the sort of start to make an identity for the Moyes era at United. Will it happen? I tend to think yes, because I think Thiago wants to go away. I, I think the thing that Barcelona will do if it does happen is they'll say, right, we want a clause in this contract that says... You know, based on you performing well for a couple of seasons, two, three, four seasons, we have the right to buy you back or at least first refusal. Well, that's a lowdown. Basically, everything you need to know about Thiago Alcantara. Will, thank you very much for your time. It's been a pleasure. And I must say, I'm very, very excited about the prospect of Thiago now. Yeah, also, I just thought of another Juan that didn't quite make it. Juan Sebastian Veron. There's nothing but tennis on the telly, Jack. So there's nothing else to do than keep watching United videos. There's some here, somewhere, so long as Alan's done his job. And if you want to be the first to see him, then round here, you need to click and subscribe, and then you'll be ahead of the game. So get on it. Click it, don't lick it.